quite some time since my last stream but today i'm going to be at it again with the character who's kind of piqued my interest and i know i hadn't did much of anything on paragon recently because honestly the game had become pretty well stagnant to play and it really favored playing in five stacks and when most of my buddies that i, I really run matches with usually couldn't be on i would rather not play but i have not had an issue solo queuing up as zinx and i know a lot of people are misunderstanding this character entirely a lot of people want to try to play her like an adc that's that's not her thing she has a basic attack of four an ability of six not outstanding in really anything but first off let's actually go over her kit not outstanding in really anything as far as damage it, it's her abilities that make her the great offlane that she's like right now I would go as far as to say she is the best offlane character out um, and that is all because of her ultimate which you unlock at level 5 which just basically means pacing yourself in offlane until you get level 5 it's called dirty healing Zanx toggles the defensive barrier around her body while in the state Zanx heals 50% of all damage dealt to her and removes mana based on the damage received passive this is also very important she regains mana proportional to the amount of mana she's missing so the more mana she's missing the more mana regen she has so her mana is going to refill faster than pretty much everyone else in the game when using abilities and seeing as she gets back half of the health it goes to further sustain her ability to stay out in lanes i've often found myself staying out in lane for my first time out up until the 13 to 15 minute mark like regularly with her Ricochet stun is another good one. It uh, basically bounces off enemies two, four, six, and eight times and stuns them for a duration. It's often enough for me to get away if I am in a fight that I can't win. Usually I feel like two on one or, well, well 1v2, uh, my fa uh, favoring them is not that hard with her, especially if I have the ult. I pretty much leave 30 healing up the whole time once I have it. There's no downside to having it up. I'm not like actively taking damage from minions with my mana up, and if I am, I'm still going to get. I mean, with my ult up, I'm still going to get the mana back pretty quickly. Bad medicine is what I get first. I've seen a lot of people say to go ricochet claws, a kitty, uh, ricochet, stun, or kitty claws. But bad medicine is just good for me holding my lane for a long duration and just keeping the guys uh, who are the carry and the support basically at bay and out of my tower as long as possible, which is usually why I have the longest lasting tier one on the team when I play as Zanx. Now, here's hoping to actually allow me to pick tank this game. And I know it's really been nice playing her because it's like a lot of new characters that come out, especially the ADC wave we just received. Um, everyone wanted to play the new ADC. Everyone had to, and it was just a constant fight over the days. Uh, probably the first three to four days where it's just constant lobby dodging and just just lots of queuing over and over without actually playing a match. You get the first pick on the character, and someone three places down dodges because they can't get the new character. And it just shows to, it goes to show how toxic the community can be sometimes. I uh, can't use my words today. Uh, I'm going to start off with a healer token and a health potion. That's pretty much all that I need to sustain myself for uh, at least the first 10 minutes I try to go for. Uh, mana potions in there as well. Running the Arch Magus Prime card for the extra damage she gets. Amulet of the Vet uh, is my starter card behind these two. Unless I have enough points for Cast Converter, which sometimes often actually I'm seeing myself having enough points on my first back to unlock Cast Converter, and I'll get back to that later. But Amulet of the Veteran, pretty simple card, starts off with 120 health, and I'm going to drop another 180 in it, so that puts me at what, 300 health just off of that one card. I have a Brawler's Ward, just to give me some vision if I actually feel the need to worry about ganks, which I often don't have to if I already have my ult. It may get thrown there at some point. This is another important thing with her. They strongly recommend attack speed and for good reason. Her damage on her uh, kitty claws, it sacks. So the faster you're hitting with it, the faster you are going to stack damage on this person. And by the time they realize how much damage you're doing to them, because it's not like huge jumps at first. But by the time they realize the amount of damage you're doing to them, they're already trying to run away. You hit them with a ricochet stun and you can tower dive them if they're thinking that the tower is going to be safe. That ults up and it's not going to do anything. Uh, Thorn Green Weave here, Barrier Barrier Strike, Venom Shell, Guard Guard Strike, pretty much following the same formula as this. Just just trying to get a bit of power and a bit of armor going because armor on her goes a long way with that dirty healing. And to replace my Amulet of the Vet, I go with an Elder Mage Amy, uh, which basically lets me sneak some more health in compared to my Amulet of the Veteran. And a little bit of power, not, not much, but a, a, enough to make some sort of difference. Um, 
whirling wand to replace my starter whirling wand. Basically, just don't this one out, and I'm gonna end up with uh, two more attack speed and two more damage, two more power. And actually, the witch, which I hardly ever see myself getting actually put this card. Usually, the match is over long before I get to this stage. Uh, cast converter. Like I said, this is my healing card. Once my health potion is going, I pretty much put this in my health potion slot. Consume 175 man of the game, 47.5 health regen for 10 seconds. Now, nah, simple math says that it's 475 health. That means every 45 seconds I can get back 475 health, which pretty much means on a character like Zanx who takes as little damage as she does, I can outlast just about any ADC in a fight. And if I had to haul ass and try to make it back to my tower, the long as I have mana left in front of that, I, I am pretty good. And you can notice that I didn't go overly heavy on actual mana. All my mana is inside of my cast converter, which I probably should have shown. So excuse the rust, guys. Oh uh, yeah, cast converter has three two cost mana cards inside of it, and that is what 60 or pop, 180 plus the original. Just a little bit of extra mana, give me that extra uh, that extra push if I need it, or that extra extra bit of effort to escape if I stayed in a fight a little too long. But pairing the Zenx with a phase has just been beautiful for me. Whenever I in, whenever I enter a fight and I get paired together with a phase, I just tell her to pop out. My ult's almost always up once I have it, and we pretty much can tower dive anyone or any any couple of people we want to, just by stacking tons of damage on them from the outside, letting them think they're safe in the tower, running ricochet stun, and hit them with a couple of kitty claws and back out. But with that phase, oh, my attack speed is so high that I'm just attack speed is high plus my mana's going up. So I think like they put these two characters out with the intentions of them working together and I, I seriously do feel that I could be a threat as as a, um, a safe lander with the, um, uh, with the support like a phase just because I'm gonna get like 75 mana a second or something back like that whatever, and my attack speed goes through the roof so I can stack kitty claws like crazy like I find myself like out tanking chimeras and rampages and the like uh, and I got first pick on this one nice and the phase is in here like to see that uh since they nerfed yin I, I, i've been kind of sketched out by the whole having a yin as a carry but eh to use their own I, i've never seen a lot of like just don't pick this person unless i see like let like, yesterday i had someone pick a kalara for offlane and I, I i don't doubt kalara's abilities at all i play her i think i still have it like rank eight close to nine or something yeah but as far as offlane goes there's there's not a better offline at the moment than Zanx just for her kit. And then people are like, oh, well, you can do this much damage with Wukong. You can do this much damage. But people are, like, not understanding the way the game works. The goal of safe lane is not to be able... You usually want a durable hero over here. You usually want a durable hero in that lane. Let's see. Oh, lane of support. Uh, blah, blah, blah. See, they don't even have... They changed it. They don't even have it to where it's said like that anymore, where it's a durable hero. But... He used to be where is the durable hero in that lane and on crit damage and life steal. Ah, I missed that entire conversation to heaven. But um Damage crit life steal. Uh Sev's jungle is always a good pick. Like Sev's still one of my favorite junglers. mostly because he's like my first and still only mastery. Like I just play too many different characters. I'm about to get Sarah to 6, I got Rick at 5, Rev at 7, Iggy's gotten a little bit of playtime, Countess at 5, Aurora I didn't overly care for, Crunch is at 7, Kwang A didn't play Decker, Feng is at 6, Bellic is at 5, Guess is nearly 6, I have a lot of characters in like the mid to high range, but I'm really like, if I have the opportunity pretty much every match since this character came out, even post buff, I mean pre buff, I would still have picked her just because of her tankiness and now with the buff she is like I feel like my deck build for her is, is just borderline god like like that twin blast that Seret, that Wukong I'm not afraid of them at all in a one-on-one -on -one or even a two-on-one -on -one situation at most times if I know a teammate is relatively close to me but get in so here we go hopefully I don't put my foot in my mouth and listen to talk about all this shit about Zinx and can actually put out a really good video for you guys um, I have a lot of footage, but if you guys are familiar with my channel at all, you know that I really hate video editing, and I should probably stop being that way, but uh, I hate video editing. Um, and, like, literally, if 
I put together all of the clips I have saved on my two PS4s in here. I probably probably be able to put out like a several hour long video. Uh, let's see, let's go with bad medicine first and health token. Let's see how talented the comp is. And I am going to be facing most likely a twin blast and a phase combo. Depend. Uh oh, don't hit me no lag. I, I can't afford a lag. Wi-Fi be good. Um. But yeah, I recently I have, I have found like absolutely no comp in this lane. The plan is thanks. I have been on a win streak for my last five games with her. Whenever I'm able to pick her, and I really do try. I've even had people go as far as saying like, "Oh, don't pick so and so," and then like. They're like the shittiest person in the match that game with their pick that they chose and I'm seven and oh or six and oh or five and oh with a bunch of assists or something. Who needs help? Man, I don't wanna overextend it, but I do wanna pressure this lane. Unlike pretty much everyone else I play in this lane, I am not afraid to get out of top. This early I play a cautious and like just just basically saying to gauge their, gauge their talent, their skill level. Uh, I'm not liking it. I'm not seeing anybody. And I am not at the level of juice at level one. They may be contemplating their gank on me. His shots aren't the most accurate in the world, but he's pretty good with those grenades. So I would hope they are effect on those. It's fucking huge, but. Uh, next up is Kitty Claw. Like I'm being a burden to my off lane, right? I mean, my uh, jungler right now. Mm. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. That is enough, man. Kind of pissed that I didn't touch my tower this much this early. Yo, we've got to target that phase out. She's putting way too. He's going after the wrong one. You should always know to target the phase, not the carry first. Just because she is going to yank him and ruin your kill.
Ooh, they, they pushed me more than I'm expecting. I was expecting for this match. I'm on level five. I need you now. It's a twin. That's that jungle. I need to get water. They say absolutely. Hey, mommy. Uh oh, I think he got me. Damn, I did not hold that tower nearly as long as I would have liked. I need him on five way sooner than this mode. Alright, and next up, what do I want? What do I want? What do I want? Uh, I'm thinking that twin is more of an issue at this point, so I'm gonna go with basic on. I should have just slapped held on necessarily. But the Venom Shell gives me a little bit of damage. It's like I'm gonna need it to be able to stop the push that they're putting on this lane. Uh, we should switch sides right now, anyway. And there goes five, really. All right, now it's my chance to form up. Damn, that was first blood. Like for me, that phase is a scrub with the aim. Oh, uh, my aim with scrub is right there. It's like it's talking shit, I suppose. Damage here with me.
Oh, just missed. Kitty claws. Up oh, did that sooner. Oh, the last hits are atrocious, though. some power on and spend these points real fast and go and stop this lane mode job dude I've got no kills at the 14 minute mark I'm ashamed of myself Mostly because of my aim. My aim is just ass right now. First match of the day. Probably shouldn't hop straight on. Well, damn. Damn. My last hits are ass right now. Ah, 
how did they not see that coming, bro? For real. That's, that's just terrible. Terrible, ain't it? The aim is back. Thank you. Listen. Kind of a nice little two piece right there. I'll take it. One of this is back up. I need to call it about 39 seconds. All right. Uh oh. I got a cranky baby in the background. Don't be cranky, little baby person. Hold up. Uh. Hey, mom. Yeah. Oh, not paying attention to the screen. Hmm, that's a set rest. Recognize that thud anywhere. Why are you being fussy, mama? Huh? Hey. There we go. All right. I get the tax speed up ASAP. That's gonna be my next one. My tax speed. That Wukong ass.
Hmm, I'd be surprised if I have a gank coming my way. Tax people won't be next. I gotta go and stop this damn right lane push because they wanted Raptors before having the lane push that off. I'm close actually. Well, oh, just shy of what I needed to be. Uh, I think I'm gonna get rid of my mana potion next for that attack speed. That was a, a beautiful gank opportunity for them that they just completely ruined. Why was my ult down? Holy shit. I was not paying attention to that one. Man, I wasted a bunch of time getting no kills and basically losing CPs. 